Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about App Service Plan. So let's get into the video. Now App Service is your platform as a service. Now in the platform as a service, what we do, we go with the App Service Plan, right? So infrastructure as a service, we talked about vertical and horizontal scale. Now we're going to concentrate on the app service over here, where our web application will be hosted, where runtime and host operating system and the infrastructure will be managed by Microsoft over here, right? So what I will be doing, I will be quickly going to create a web application now. Or here I'm going into the app service and I'm going to create this particular app service at the moment. Here I'll be selecting a resource group with the name RG. Here, let's say I'm going to put a name, my test for web app. I'll be selecting code over here. Now I will be selecting the runtime. What kind of the runtime that required? I can be a Java developer, I can be a .NET developer, right? So currently I'll be selecting Node.js over here, right? Now further, we need to pick that what operating system that I will be using beneath it, right? Because your platform as a service is nothing but the concept of your operating system sharing, right? That we have over here. So let's say I'm going with Windows based operating system. Further, I will be selecting the location as East US over here and it will help me creating the app service plan. Now guys, there is a question over here. Guys, if I will be changing the operating system right over here, can I deploy the another web application on the same app service plan after changing the operating system or will it be on the same app service plan right with the app service plan guys you also get the accessibility to certain features right what are those features available guys over here in the app service plan we have the feature like how many times that you will be able to do the backup right if you see this particular app service plan app service plan is not only responsible for the computational need guys it will also have the additional capability that how many times you can take the backup how many staging slots that you will have right or how many, you know, whether you can integrate this with the help of the traffic manager or not. Your storage capacity, right? 50 GB of the requirements, right? So your app service plan is responsible for your auto scaling functionality as well, right? If with the standard app service plan, you can auto scale up to 10 instances as well, right? Or let's say if I'm going with premium, I can scale up to 20 instances, or if I will go with premium on the higher side, I can go up to 30 instances as well. Right? Just like, you know, in the VM that we have an option for the dedicated host. If in case you would like to have a dedicated isolated environment, you can have it over here. This is capable of increasing up to 100 instances as well. If you will be having the dedicated hardware for that, right? The storage capacity has been increased up to one terabyte as well. Now in the same manner, guys, what I'm saying that if I will be changing this Windows to Linux, will it will be changing the app service plan or it will be the same? Because if you are capable of auto scaling, definitely your app service plan is capable of hosting multiple web application at a time, right? So if I will have another web application on the same app service plan, can I change the operating system whether I need to change the app service plan or it will be the same app service plan guys definitely guys if I'll be changing the Linux operating system it will change the app service plan yeah now the another question is guys if I will be changing the location it will be the same app service plan or it will be a different app service plan your app service plan helping you to reserve the compute in one particular data center so let's say I have have a app service plan that I have created in the East US region in this data center now i'm saying that i would like to host a web application in the different regions so definitely the different web application on the different data center so guys this thing the service i have reserved in one particular region how this particular service will be providing me the reservation in the another region over here so guys always remember if you will be changing your region your app service plan will be different guys your app service plan is a regional service i cannot have the same app service plan in two different region over here make sense guys so not to get confused guys if i will be changing the region if i will be changing the operating system definitely in both the cases it will be having a different app service plan guys now another question guys i'm keeping the same operating system right i'm keeping the same region but guys if i will be changing the runtime whether this required a different app service plan or not guys it may or may not depending what kind of the runtime that you will be using now guys, let's see this over here. This app service plan name is ending with BAA3, right? Now let's say if I'm changing the runtime stack from node 14 LTS to node 16, you can see this particular app service plan is getting changed over here, right? It is not available for Windows. 
now those run times which required the change of the operating system will definitely require a different app service plan there is no doubt about it those requirement which let's say i'm going with the lower version of the node.js node.js i'm going with the linux or two windows over here for an example let's say i'm going with 40 lts over here definitely guys it will be changing my app service plan you can see guys it is continuously changing however if i'm going with asp.net 3.5 you can see b6 e5 is the app service plan over here i have changed the runtime as well guys and here the app service plan has not changed so guys it's totally depend whether that particular runtime required a different set of the operating system or even the same whether it is allowing us to have the same app service plan or not so guys that totally depends on your runtime requirements clear guys so if you will be getting this particular question in your interview or in your examination where you have to mention this right and you have any particular condition available that it depends on the choice of the runtime that you will be selecting guys that is the answer clear guys so don't need to get confused guys if you are changing the location definitely your app service plan will be different if you are changing your operating system definitely your app service plan will be different but if you are changing the runtime it totally depends guys that what kind of the runtime that we will be dealing with if i'm going with python 3.7 and i'm going with after that python 3.8 let's see guys whether it will be having a change no guys not at all it's not changing anything over here so app service plan remains the same so it is totally under your control basically runtime whether you want this or not now i'm just going to create this particular web application now further guys it will also help you with this particular option guys so this option is for your deployment from your github using your ci cd pipeline so that particular part will be of your devops over here right that if in case if your web application code has been kept on the github so currently i'm going to keep this option disabled and guys there is a monitoring service we call it application insight which will give you the understanding that you know for the monitoring that how many incoming requests is coming in what is the percentage of the utilization of the application going on right how the cpu performing on top of the app service plan on sort of the information that you required it will be done by your application insight how it will be done we'll go ahead and look into this in a moment now so i'm just going to create this over here just going to take a few minutes okay guys your web application is available now now first thing first guys i would like to show you this computational requirement over here so just like you have a scaling feature right here you have the option for the scale out so the way you would like to auto scale just like your vm scale set guys let me ask this thing guys does it looks familiar over here The way we have the option available in your virtual machine is scale set right you will be able to manage your auto scaling requirement with the help of that right so the way you have to select the conditions over there in the similar manner guys you will be able to manage your requirement for the auto scale the only option is that in your vm scale set for vertical scale you have to resize your machine right you have to reboot with the higher configuration over here you can just change the app service plan for the higher computational requirement the comparison of the compute can be done by comparing your acu that is your azure computing unit so earlier let's suppose we used to host a web application on top of a you know resource says or you can say on the top of you know the kind of uh, the machines over here on the basis of that you can compare your compute let's say if i used to use a d series machines earlier on and currently if i need to host a web application on top of the app service plan how much compute i should start with right so that particular requirement microsoft has already covered in the form of the comparison model 
that one should be able to do the comparison and on the basis of that you can go with in the same manner if you'd like to have a general purpose machines over here right so let's say i was using d3 v3 machines over here click on it you will get the granular information that what will be the size how much will be the configuration maximum iops that how much we are getting over here right so you can see guys we d2 s v3 we can have you know two network interface card what will be the bandwidth that we will be able to use right with d at v3 we can have four network interface card supported over here in the similar manner guys if you like to go with a similar amount of the compute go with the comparison and accordingly select that particular plan which will be meeting your computational requirement clear guys so you can increase this requirement over here you will have the option available for swapping guys over here that is for your staging slot let's see guys what is that option all about right so overview will give you the accessibility to the information guys i mean over here you will have a fully qualified domain name that you can hit on this particular ip and you will be able to visualize that particular information over here so if i'm going to hit on this particular ip so guys you can see your web application app service plan is available right now further you can also target the activities the number of the activities happening in this particular web application you will be able to visualize that particular information with the help of that you do have an option for managing role based access control yeah just like any other service tags pre diagnostic troubleshooters are available guys so if in case if you are facing any challenges over here this can be utilized to fix any sort of the challenges because this is a managed service guys over here right they have all troubleshooters available over here security tab will give you the access to your security center recommendation so it is directly providing the recommendation from the Microsoft Defender service. We're going to talk about about this service when we'll be touching upon the monitoring, guys. Yeah. Currently, you can just understand that whenever we just need to check whether we are following the best practices for the security or not, we'll go ahead and click on this view recommendation. It will give you the accessibility to your Microsoft Defender service, and it will list you all the recommendation at the moment, right? And you will be able to download the report on the basis of that as well. Clear, guys? So this is a monitoring service. We're going to talk about it. Event-driven mechanism, guys. So in the serverless compute environment, like you can use your logic app, Azure functions, event grid, right? If you're not aware about it, don't worry. I will going to show you guys how this logic app, event grid, can be utilized on the event-driven mechanism if you want to take an action, right? So that you can use Azure Functions. We're going to talk about in probably tomorrow. We're going to talk about Azure Functions as well, because we will be touching upon your know, container, your Kubernetes, and then we're going to talk about Azure Functions as well. That how this can be used over here. Currently, you can see that this can be that anything happening within your app service plan, you would like to take an action on the basis of that particular event, right? So this is to automate that particular event-driven mechanism. We have these choices available, right? So guys, I hope you really liked our session. And if you have any kinds of doubts, you can please comment down below and our team will reach out to you. And do not forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you are really intrigued by the kind of terms used and you want to learn more about it, then we have something really, really special for you. We have this free class on Microsoft Azure Solutions Architect certification that is AZ305. And if you want to learn more about it, then you just have to log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure SA02. In this session, in this free class, you'll be learning about why you should be learning Azure Cloud, your paths to learn Azure Solution Architect Expert Certification. You'll be getting known on a difference between AZ303, AZ304, AZ305, and a lot many insightful things. So if you want to do this, then all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure SA02. After that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. Just click on book your free seat now and select your availability according to the event date mentioned. Add your name, add your phone number, add your email, and every detail will be conversed to you via our mail. And after that, just proceed ahead. On the extreme light, you'll be seeing this kind of link. So just Copy this link, save it to your calendars, and I will see you in the next class. Till then, take care and keep hustling.